Well, I'm back. So, done the trip to Hungary, Euro Aqua, and if you've seen that vlog, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, all my expectations were absolutely smashed out of the water at that place. The fish um, we caught were absolutely amazing, and to catch the 100 pounder just blew my mind. But back to reality, I got down to Frimley yesterday afternoon, met up with a good friend of mine, James. I said we'll have a bit of a social and a drink and uh, yeah so last night we built a bonfire sat there chewing the fat i got in quite a good spot got down early in the morning and did see some fizzing out in front of a swim and rather than plumb it i just cast a rod to the area stuck it into the clip pull it out there and wrapped it and it was about nine and a half wraps i put a bit of bait over the top and then through the afternoon i had a weird occurrence where i lost something in the pads and i think it was a tench and then yesterday evening at seven o'clock, I caught a fish, um, I think it's called the Little Lever. I've only ever seen it once before. It was 26 pound in a photo a couple of years ago, but this time it was 30 pound six. And I was really pleased because it's always nice to get a lever. They're so rare. So yeah, a nice 30 pound lever. And then this morning, the rod's gonna go in the same rod. So I've had three sort of pickups on that rod now. And that was a tench of about seven or eight pound. And um, whenever I'm getting tench, I know that the area is very good for being visited. There's obviously natural food there or something. It's very firm silt, so I'm feeling quite confident there. James is just up. He's just moved swims to the other side because we've seen a fish. But yeah, what I was going to tell you about prior to going Euro Aqua, I was meant to be on another trip that got cancelled. So I didn't waste any time. I got back down to Frimley. Blank tonight in the first swim, but heard some fish round the corner moved and it was a real weird day one of them days when there's a very fine rain in the air a new southwesterly pumping down that end of the lake and i thought there has to be fish down here got the rods out and it weren't till about one in the morning that night i had my first bite and that's a 26 pound common so i felt really confident of another about 5 a.m the rod's gone again this time it was a 39 and a half, something like a 39 pound common, a really beautiful chunky fish. So I was well chuffed to, to come down on an unplanned trip and have a couple of fish. As the morning wore on, you don't really get many day bites, but it was one of them typical low pressures, new wind. If you're ever gonna get a day bite, it's gonna be that day. And I wasn't disappointed when the rod went again, this time a really lovely looking clean 38 pound common. So I'm absolutely buzzing now. I've got three fish after moving. It's time to go that day. And there was a few lads down here doing an infantry carp match on one of the other lakes. And they've come round to see me. And while we're all standing there chatting, the rod's gone again. This time an absolutely brilliant battle, really hard fighting fish. And I caught a fish known as Lily, 42 and a half pounds, really cracking carp. And um, yeah, one of the very, very old commons now. And I did actually blog talking about that, but I don't know what I've done with the footage, so I'm telling you about it now. But yeah, I'm back down, and to be honest, I actually thought that all the leaves would be gone from the trees by the time I got back in November. But we are having an exceptionally warm November. The leaves are still on the trees, so it looks like I haven't missed the autumn. Last night was 10 degrees, so it's a very good autumn weather. I'm feeling like me or James could get another bite two days ago the biggest fish in the lake come out a fish called charlie's mate which i love to catch 56 pound huge to my mate tom well done tom he thoroughly deserves that does overnight as so a well done mate hopefully at some point i'll see that common in the bottom of my net or one of the other big commons but um, i'm gonna go and have a cup of tea now and we'll catch up Well, we're back down Frimley and um, it's looking good. But before I talk to you about Frimley, I'm gonna to talk to you about last week. I didn't come down here last week. I went to a place called The Sanctuary in Essex. The start of the week, I did a promotional video for a Christmas giveaway with Ridge Monkey. 
dressed up as Rudolph, looked an absolute <laughs> And then later on in the week, I took a tutorial with two lads and um, they turned up fairly confused. And I think that's down to a lot of the stuff that's on YouTube. There's a lot of information and there's a lot of bad information as well as a lot of good information. And what I'd done with these two lads, I gave them two lead setups, you know, like a helicopter and a lead clip and two rigs, one pop-up rig and one bottom bait rig that they could take away and be confident in. Then I talk about weather conditions, how carp move on them, and then the most important thing that brings all that together, the baiting approach and how I change it throughout the year. They ended up with about five or six fish, three or four of them were upper 20s up to 27, 12, so they left that lake a lot more confident than what they turned up, which is what I like. I don't normally put the rods out on a tutorial when I've got a couple of anglers, but I slung them out that night and I had a beautiful 35 pound linear, old golden bollocks as usual. Really lovely carp and typical of the Sanctuary Lake. The Sanctuary is an absolutely beautiful venue and it's part of five lakes owned by Essex Carp Syndicates. If you've not seen them, take a look at their website. Absolutely fantastic, all of their fisheries. But anyway, we're back down Frimley. I got here yesterday and after a good walk around, I couldn't find any fish. So I moved on weather condition. It was a southwest wind. I put myself three quarters of the way down the lake. So there was other anglers set up right on the end of the wind. I didn't want to interfere with air fishing. Didn't really see anything. I was just going on weather conditionings, seven or eight spoms over each rod of broken bait so that I didn't over bait. It's November now, the fish are full up and you can easily overbait. Probably I'll be dropping down in the next few weeks, do three or four spawns. Anyway, nothing through the night. Did see a bit of fizzing on uh, my right hand rod just on dark. Next morning, pouring rain, came about 4 a.m. Absolutely tipping it down. About 6 a.m., the right hand rod's away. Nice little scrap and had a lovely mirror with a tiny little linear line on the middle of it, really cracking carp. 34 pounds and it looked beautiful in the autumn. I'll show you it after this. Got in my bivvy and I'm soaked through to the skin. I'm putting the kettle on, hoping the rain's gonna, you know, hold up a little bit and the middle rod goes. So I jumped back out into the rain, caught a beautiful little stock here, around 19 pound, I'd say, like a scaly, maybe smaller than actually, 17 pound scaly little thing. And probably one of the fish, Mark, who owns Frimley, has put in here in the last couple of years it's the future of the lake and um, yeah, they tend to here drip feed a few in every year that are kept in stock ponds over the back. But why I'm on the subject of Frimley, a lot of people think that Lake Free, which I'm on, is the only lake, but the number of the lake gives it away. There's actually four lakes here or five. There's another one over the back they haven't opened yet, but you've got Lake Four across the alley here that's got a really good head of big fish. Carp to just, uh, just under 50 pound. This one's got carp to 56 pound. You've got Lake Two that's got fish to over 30 pound. Lake One that's got two or three 40 pounders now. So there's sort of four or five lakes here that are excellent. So I'll be here a couple of years, I think, but I ain't leaving here without a big common. And that is that. So um, we'll have a look at these couple of fish I've had and I'll come back to you throughout the session if anything else happens. So. I will admit, I thought I was going to have to move swims, nothing's happened. And then literally, in the last 10 minutes, I've got one in there, which I think is the smallest carp in the lake, and a lovely 34 pound mirror in there. And uh, still got at least 24 hours ago, about 30 hours to go. Ain't been back for a week. So, well pleased with that. Let's get these out and have a look. this time of year. This fish looks amazing. Lovely golden, tiny little pinprick scales all over her. Come on, yeah. Let's have a look here. Look at that. What a beautiful carp. 34 pounds. 
Yeah, well pleased with that. Two mirrors at Frimley on the bounce. Must have golden balls. <laughs> Excellent. Well pleased with that. Man, I love carp fishing. <laughs> Never get bored of carp fishing. Let's get her back. Um, probably half seven this morning. Swans have been driving me mad all night. A spom opened up over my lines and they were coming in all night long and just wiping my line out. So I was in and out of the bivvy. Got to about half seven and I was sound asleep. The alarm's gone. I've looked out and there's the swan over my line. I've jumped out, thrown a stick at him. And as he's swimming off, the uh, right hand rod keeps going. I picked up the rod and uh, instantly knew it was a good fish and my line was running through a snag and out. Must have picked something up on the bottom. Luckily, I give it a bit of a shake with the rod tip underwater and the line's popped off and I'm in contact with the fish. And uh, yeah, straight away, I knew it was a good one. And when it rolled, I thought, this is it. This is definitely a good common, probably a 40 pounder. And uh, yeah, Charlie's mate. <laughs> Still can't believe it. 56 pounds and 10 ounces. Let's take a look. Oh my god, I've got it. <laughs> That's it. That's f it. Oh my god, I've got it. Now, lads, I'm not sure. <laughs> this could be it. Finally. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> When you've got the big one and you have to call in the big guns. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dave? Oh, mate. Over the moon. The campaign's lasted just over a year. Full winter, full summer. And now uh, I'm holding the prize. The jewel in the crown, Charlie's mate. New UK PB, 56 pounds and 10 ounces. Of mega old British common carp. <laughs>
there it is, it's the rig. I've just caught my biggest UK carp on. It's eight inches of 25 pound camo X. A size four beak point, quite a long hair. And my blowback rig with the shrink tube on the shank. And yeah, that's what I've got to say. That hook, not that actual one, but that pattern, which is the beak point, I've had 53 bites from Frimion and landed 51 of them. <laughs> Unbelievable.